Yo, what's up guys? Another video on dungeon teams, very fast teams. A 22 second Giants Abyss team without LD5. Even without LD4, so there's even no Debra to this. Well, technically there's an LD4, there's a Luna, but that one is free to play-ish. If you had that HOH, it was a very long time ago, so it's really free to play. Kind of, it's just an old unit, let's call it that way. But crazy, crazy team, crazy, crazy runes needed. So in this case, the video is going to be, can I rune this? Which... I know Shroomia and I know Shroomia's runes and Shroomia's runes on Rage are really insane. Those are probably the best Rage runes I've ever seen from anyone. So his team is actually taking on something that I uh, showcased in the past as well. I will showcase that a little bit later, but it's using the Wind Ezio to get the Luna back her skills. And therefore you can use a Luna team without Luna taking a double turn. That's the main idea of the team. So how the team looks like is this, he will, I will show the runes in a second, he shows those later as well. So how the team is specifically used is pretty simple. Um, I did try this exact same team before, however, I did not have the rune quality to make it work. That has been quite a while since I tried this team, so I could give that a try to see how this team would work for me right now. But yeah, this is insanely, insanely fast and insanely insanely like just op so yeah we have perfect the eye state on perfect the eye state on pretty much perfect the eye states throughout the whole run and then you would clear the whole thing is this easy to ruin uh no no i did like quantify or qualify or like whatever i rated my like how difficult some of the teams were that i was running before um i had some teams that were like nine out of ten it's 10 out of 10 this would be straight up like above my pay grade probably and be like a 13 out of 10 that's kind of what i think i did try to ruin it but let's look at his runes these are his runes this is really insane like not just the runes are good the artifacts are good if you look at the amount of there's four rage sets that are all like 230 on 2.5 244 on 2200 and that one has five. This one triple five, also good set. 291 on 2200. Okay, good set. A fight set here with close to 2k and then 255. Bro, that's insane. You you have to re-up some rage runes to get those kind of rage runes or farm a shit ton of necro. That's pretty much the only way to do it. Would this actually be interesting for me to run in the first place? Well, I would say my current team with the Teshar, where the Teshar is low crit rate and then enough crit rate is like 50 crit rate or whatever it was. And then all four other units on triple five, then you need the Debra for that. That team is running about like 24 second average. I've seen it 22 average, but it's more RNG depending than this team by a long shot. So we definitely do have that in there. He has the fastest team on 21 and a half second average. That is really really insane so yeah to showcase that i have been showing this before this is an old video of mine and i showed the win at co and you hear me double right now oh wait this is i i do showcase it in giants later as well right do i show it with the exact same team uh close close not really i don't think we had a prelia at this moment but i kind of did the same thing where i was using these units to get the amount of hits in and then Pretty much a very similar team. I don't think we even had the Monkless at this team uh, at this time because this video was posted in March of last year. So we do have a little bit of different videos in here, or we do have a little bit of different style of units in here right now. Uh, but is this going to be something that I can ruin? Or well, to be honest, I didn't really farm too much rage runes ever since this moment. Like my rage runes did improve, my artifacts did improve. My grinds did improve, my fight runes definitely didn't improve, but my rage runes definitely do not improve. So here we have the team. I did have to rune it up slightly different because I think I have decent-ish fight runes, but I don't have that many crazy rage runes. So all of these sets, if we compare that to the Shroomia set, like all of these units are just straight up better on Shroomia. Like I'm missing like 220 crit damage on this. I'm missing probably a bunch of attack on this. So for that reason, I actually need more triple fight so my homunculus is triple fight my seo is also triple fight my triple fight builds are a lot weaker than his rage sets but because all of the three of them have triple fight it actually does kind of add up i hope i don't know so a thing that he also did is make this 35 accuracy because the minimum accuracy that you need in giants is of course 35 
but this skill can actually armor break as well so if you put that towards 35 accuracy it is a way that you can actually do it this artifact is pretty nice for it my artifacts are decent for this but i would say that his artifacts are better for this especially on the luna that are uh, the artifacts he has on the luna seem pretty freaking strong so i'm gonna play this on a manual and i'm just gonna click perfect eye but this gives us a chance to see like what kind of damage we're doing and how much are we missing or not missing so in this case okay we're on the edge of actually doing enough damage that is not too bad i would say not too bad so if we go for let's say all of the perfect skills we would get a rotation like this i can't kill in one hit so my luna is also too weak for this <laughs> doesn't happen too often that i can't ruin shit but yeah this is definitely a theme that i can't ruin it seems so yeah we're missing all three on those so i can remove the artifact that i get extra accuracy on and just put extra damage on him that is an option so but let's see about this one so normally if it would do this skill this is like the highest damage output i have this would have been uh this is not exactly perfect the eye rage it did do the skill right now but it doesn't even do enough damage because mine is not on rage and then if the luna does die over there which is most likely it's not gonna be a great day so yeah can i run this mm, answer not really let's see if we change the um what's it called Ezio to a crit damage less because with a crit damage less it's definitely doable with this we just need a little bit more crit damage less do we have one that is still having accuracy s2 not really okay let's just for the sake of it remove the crit damage s2 and we're just gonna go for a lot of crit damage over here but the issue is still that this unit is doing too little damage by quite a bunch so and this unit is doing too little damage by quite a bunch so <laughs> these are definitely issue scenarios where i would say i'm probably not gonna be able to ruin this so let's see with this yep that does actually kill right now so we have not that much chance for you armor breaking right now but if it does it is nice we still don't do enough damage on the luna we would need a better rage set on that luna you could also see with shroomia's uh rage runes and also blade runes he's actually farming actively on what's it called he actively farms uh abyssal things for no wait not abyssal ancient things he farms the ancient uh runes for both blade and rage that definitely does help out a lot if you don't farm those i wouldn't really re recommend to give this a try like if you have really good rage runes and you don't have that deborah then this is definitely an option that you could look at it is absolutely a very good team the moment it runs but this is for me a little bit too far i would need either better rage runes better fight runes i think better fight runes would call it for me and then do enough but in this case i definitely do lack something where i can't really be running this especially if it doesn't go for the right skill over there you do have the thing where if the prelia goes for an s3 rather than an s2 there's only been um five hits on the counter taking so that's kind of the thing with um the Ezio and also the prelia if they don't do their correct skill well yeah if they don't do the highest damage skill let's call it that way they will go for one less uh, multi-hit so therefore your uh, luna can hit on an s2 later as well which does help out quite a bit but would i recommend to ruin this all for the standard tesha team no no absolutely like unless you have like the the rage runes of shroomia i would not recommend to ruin this because <clears throat> it's just like so ten thousand times more difficult and this is the point where yeah my luna just dies and then this whole run just goes to misery kind of it's nice that the uh, julie still does a decent amount of damage we might still succeed over here but if the crits and i think that's a crit animation does kill it <laughs> yeah so would i recommend running this mm, maybe not maybe not that's uh you need really crazy rage runes for it would i change this one to a rage set then i would do too little damage on these two units would i change this to a rage set then i would still probably do too little damage on those but let's give it a try okay so i placed the Ezio on a rage fight and then the homunculus is also rage fight right now let's see how this works out i would doubt that my julie does enough damage right now together with this nope not enough damage i did switch back the artifact towards the artifact which uh was the high accuracy artifact so let's change that in a second and then see how that goes so let's see if we well this run is completely messed up already <laughs> this thing still doesn't do enough damage 
But uh, let's see how that would go at the final boss. Oh yeah, you do a lot less damage if that happens. That is totally true. Um, let's just clear it like this, just for the idea of it. How much damage would I do on the final boss if they do all of their skills right? So this is the right skill. This is the right skill. Yeah, we're still lacking a lot of damage too. Okay, we could actually one-shot it that way. So the homunculus uh, damage added it definitely does help out. But it makes the Julie damage a lot less. It makes the Luna damage quite a bit less. So let's give that one more try. But then with the other artifact with the crit damage low once again. So that's the higher damage artifact. Let's give that one more try. Let's see if this now gives something that we could write home about. Nope, I can't even kill. <laughs> so I need the fight runes. Otherwise my uh, Julie's just straight up doesn't do enough damage. So... Yeah, would I recommend to build this? Uh, no. Well, yeah, if you have better rage runes than I do, which absolutely possible, because in the end, it's very true. I don't farm rage, but uh, that's some really insane runes. That's the least I can say about that. That's some really, really insane runes. Whereas the team of the Teshar is very easy to rune, like super actual easy to rune. So I recommend to stay with the Teshar, guys. So uh, definitely an amazing team. Definitely shout out to Shroomia. I'll leave his stuff in the description down below. Absolutely amazing team, absolutely amazing that he can make it work, but for me, this is definitely still a bridge to farm. Maybe if we get more of those events where I can farm a lot of those fight runes, then maybe I can get there at some point. I did get like one or two decent fight rune uh, upgrades for the three hours of farming fight runes. If I get that event probably like 10 more times and then also fix all of the correct grinds on it, then I can probably make it. Probably if I also get some better artifacts, because in the end I have to work with just the Luna that's worse, because I have worse Rage Runes on those. Some better Blade Runes might help, I don't know. But yeah, until then, I won't be running that, and I will be running still the Tesher team that's just running like 23 or 24 second average. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you as always in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the Dungeon Guide Archive and the Video Guide Archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.